We have estimated <coughs> quantity and cost of the air handling unit one. So the air handling unit uh, is going to be in the uh, mechanical drawings. So we want to go to the index and identify the mechanical drawings. So we have four mechanical drawings, M1 through uh, four. M4. So here we go, M1. This uh, M1 uh, shows the mechanical uh, floor plan, and then uh, we'll basically look for the units where we have uh, air <coughs> distributing into the different rooms. So here we see there is a, a mechanical room over here, and uh, sure enough, this one says uh, AHU1. This is the air handling unit number one. Then uh, there seems to be another area of uh, air conditioning here. So we have uh, air handling unit four. There, that means you know we should have air handling unit two and three somewhere. So here is uh, air handling unit two and air handling unit three. I don't know where that is. It's right above one. Yeah. Above one. Mm -hmm. Oh, here it is. Yeah, perfect. So we've identified uh, three air handling units from the plan layouts. Then uh, if we look at the schedule, uh, that schedule should show the um, information uh, that we need for the air handling units. So right here, the AC split equipment schedule, this should show uh, what type of unit it is and uh, it normally gives us uh, a lot of uh, information about it. So this, uh, this uh, table says the air handling unit one, it's a, a York unit, uh, this is the model number, it has uh, 2350 CFM of uh, supply air, this is the amount of air that is handled by the unit, 2350, uh, outside air, and so on. So in some point it should say what is the capacity of that unit. Oh, it says here, capacity, uh, 100 pounds, R22, 10.7, sear. Say, uh, it says the cooling uh, tons. Oh yeah, Co uh, condition cooling data. So it's a 7.5 ton unit. That's uh, how the refrigeration is uh, measured in uh, tons of uh, refrigeration. So that that is the number that you want to use to estimate the cost of this unit. So there are uh, several ways you can do. You can go to the York uh, website and see if you can find that model number uh, and get information about the unit, maybe get the cost of it, or you can go uh, again to one of our cost uh, references. I'm not sure if I have um, the, okay, here's an HVAC estimating reference. So this, this uh, can have some general information, but I think this is to estimate the, the size of the system. It's a basic, yeah, basic requirements. So it tells you how many BTUs uh, do you need per hour for each uh, square feet or, or tons uh, per square feet? So that, that way you can have a, a quick uh, estimate in, in the size of the system and then um, find out what the, the cost will be, right? So in terms of uh, Air handling units, uh, the quantity uh, is uh, one, right? We have only one uh, air handling unit, number one. We have one of each. Uh, what we could see if, uh, if there are uh, identical units, like uh, in this case, it looks like uh, air handling unit one and air handling unit two, they're both uh, identical models, right? Well, not identical. No. This is LA09, the one is LA12. So yeah, it's different. This one handles uh, 2,300 square uh, cubic feet per minute. 
This one is 3,200, so it's a larger unit. Well, so each one of these is uh, it's, uh, different. So we'll have to account for them uh, separate. Uh, each one is uh, it's, it's different type of unit. Now, this cooling data, it's, uh, it's, it's just the, the whole system, okay? It includes uh, a system package that has the chiller, water cooled with fan coil. Uh, this is for apartment corridors, 4,000 square feet, 7.3 tons. So it includes the, the fan coil, water chiller lines, cooling, kind of hard to read. Let me see if I can zoom in, right? So it has that uh, pipes and, and components. I, I chose this one. It says uh, 7.3 tons, right? Uh, our uh, air handling unit is 7.5, so it's sort of uh, close to that. This uh, gives you for the system uh, a cost on each, right? So you get uh, this total cost, or you have also a cost per square feet. So you, you can sort of uh, choose which one uh, fits better. And then they have here for uh, different systems, uh, bags and libraries, 4,000 square feet, 16 tons, 44 tons. So it gives you a cost per square foot. Basically what you will do then is you take the area under AC and multiply by that uh, factor. 